So, and, and, and the Lord speaks to me out of this dream. There's no one targeting false ideologies with massive fasting and prayer. And I could see it, the call Boston, targeting humanism. What do you mean targeting humanism? I saw DC was targeting abortion, the Supreme Court. I saw Nashville for, for the new music. I saw LA for the industry of, of the arts, of movies. I saw San Francisco targeting homosexuality. And I felt like the Lord said, you raise up a house of prayer that contends with these ideologies because our fight is against thought systems. But they're not just the ideas, they're the demonic powers that are behind those things. So we try to deal with, with, with abortion uh, by trying to do political lobbying, which we must. But Joshua has to fight that battle, but somebody's got to get their hands up on the hill. See, if you don't have the hands up on the hill, there is no way that you're going to end abortion by a political movement. It won't work. The reason the civil rights movement worked is because it was born out of the desperate cries of the prayers of the African-American peoples who said, it's, we've had enough. See, there's a new activism coming into a generation that says, we've had enough. See, we've just, our generation has just kind of cowered and cowered. And, you know, nobody wants to be known for what they're against, just for what they're for. Well, God's against things. I have this against you, that you tolerate the woman Jezebel. You bear with her. She's killing your kids in your education center, and you just tolerate it with a nice quiet silence. I think a generation rises up not out of anger, but there is a righteous anger. But our anger is directed to principalities and powers. Our violence is in the heavens. Why can't the church mobilize into a flashpoint that thousands and hundreds of thousands would go to San Diego not protesting, but interceding and appealing to a higher court to shake the North Ninth Court of Appeals. Come on, we got to think this way. That's what happened during the days of Haman. God, God's just looking for one little small sector of society to stand up and resist. Mordecai had no idea that his little refusal to bow down to Haman would set off a course of action that would break the whole anti-Semitic spirit. The, the church has got to capture a re reimagination of fighting for the next generation. This is not about you. This is our children, folks. We don't get it. The fact is, in Massachusetts, because in Massachusetts, they have legalized gay marriage. The fact is, now it is illegal to put children into adoption by organizations that get funding from, the, from Massachusetts. They can't put kids in adoption unless they give them as well to homosexuals. So Catholic Charities has been pushed to the place where they can no longer do adoptions and they're the best adoption society. But because the church abdicated, because we said, well, whatever, you know, what happens is, now they can't adopt babies. You know who pays? Babies that need adopted. So they go into homosexual families. Come on. That's enough to get fighting mad over. And I, I'm, not, I'm not saying, I, I, I'm, it, we're, our fight's not against people, but it is against systemic injustice. It's against systems, thought systems that destroy. And, and something has to happen to us. Where are we going to draw a line? When is enough? Where is enough? Where is your there? Where is your place? And you can say, I'm, I'm taking my stand here. I don't care if they kill me. I'd rather go down as a martyr. See, that's the deal. That's what it means to be an intercessor. I look for a man to stand in the gap. It's not just saying words. It's stretching out your hand. Jesus made intercession on the cross. It is more than words. You move from prayer to intercession when you're willing to die for the cause in which you have been assigned by heaven. And it's one thing to shout about it. It's another thing to put yourself there. That's why abortion is not a good idea for me and I can walk away from it after two months. I'm in front of that thing over my dead body until it ends. Because I've been given an assignment from heaven and the master and the commander does not give assignments without wanting a full return. When he put his assignment on Wilberforce to end the slave trade, it cost him 40 years. But it did. It happened. And we should have that same spirit. 
See, we are moving now from a whole mentality of being on the defensive into the offensive. Churchill said to his general, Lord Montbatten, you are never to think defensively in your headquarters. You are only to think offensively. Why do we have to believe that internet pornography is with us forever? What's the signs of the times, the great flood of the end of the age? Well, maybe it is, but that should never be our mentality. When 12-year-olds and 11-year-olds and 10-year-olds, it's a slave trade, and that slave trade needs to be ended like abortion, like slavery. It all has to be ended, and the Lord is the champion of justice. Pornography is a slave trade. When, when, when men, older men could be watching and little children being raped, on internet sites and men from all over the world watching it that is something to put a righteous judge in there and righteous senators who say we're going to end this thing but I'll tell you you won't end that with revival alone you better put somebody who says it's over with and begin to put their feet on the necks of their enemies because that's what government leaders were created for by God delegated to do bad to the evil doers. listen government was to terrorize evildoers That's what the Bible says. Government was put in place to terrorize evil doers. There is so much information on this shift the nation's teachings that you can't possibly get it watching just little bits television program to television program. We have the whole thing for you. You need to order it and get it today so you can change your nation. Shift the Nation displays the powerful synergy that comes when apostles, prophets, and the body of Christ come together to contend for righteousness. This series captures one of the most prophetically significant gatherings in the history of Generals International and includes the ministry of Cindy and Mike Jacobs, Dutch Sheets, Chuck Pierce, and many more. Shift the Nation is available on CD and DVD. Visit our website at www.generals.org and go to our online store to order this series today. See, the sons of Zion versus sons of Greece. Sons of Greece, <laughs> the sons of Greece are those who come at things through right here. But the sons of Zion always come from above. Suddenly out of heaven. It comes from above. It's divine wisdom. We fight with wisdom. It's not a natural wisdom. It's a wisdom that comes from above. What can you do with a piece of life tape? Well, I stood my kids in front of that Supreme Court, and God gave me Ezekiel 2230. I looked for a man to stand in the gap and to build up a wall before me, and I found none. And the Lord said, build me a wall. I stood those kids up in front of that Supreme Court. I said, we're going to put this tape on. We're going to put life there, and we're going to build a wall, and we're going to plead a better blood than the blood of 47 million babies. We're going to build a wall against God and lay siege to God and say, God, no, mercy, we hold you back from judgment in the nation. And we take a stand there as prophetic intercessors of the unborn, and we are identifying with the silent screams of the unborn. And in our silence, we believe that we can speak louder then our shouting. And the first day we line up, the NOW is next to us, National Organization of Women, they're shouting, they're doing their deal, and we're standing here in total silence. And one of the women comes up to my wife and says, see what these kids are doing here? This is brilliant strategy. It's brilliant strategy. I could, pay, I could have paid a marketing company a million dollars to do what God gave us in one dream because we didn't know it but the media was going to take this thing up and prophesy life, life, life all over the nation Time Magazine, New York Times uh, uh, 